This is a list of spacecraft and other vehicles that appear in space, 1999, a 1970s British science fiction television series. <laughs> Alien bomber An unidentified spaceship based on the Discovery 1 from 2001, a space odyssey called Guadalcanal, a misspelling of Guadalcanal, was designed along with its auxiliary craft and built as a model by a 16-year-old Martin Bauer just after he saw that film. Around a decade later, he reused it for the series. In Alpha Child the bomber is used to destroy the ships belonging to the fugitive alien Jurak, which are the auxiliary craft designed by the 16 Bauer. In War Games, the aliens cause the bomber to appear, perhaps using as sources the Alphan memories, to destroy Moonbase Alpha. In Dragon's Domain, the Guadalcanal model is in the spaceship graveyard above Ultra. In The Metamorph, the Guadalcanal model is in the spaceship graveyard on Sycon. A modified version of the bomber is also featured as the Delton battleship in The Last Enemy, which appears often with a command module attached and a command module separated in both the spaceship graveyards, too. <laughs> Eagle Transporter The Eagle Transporter is Moonbase Alpha's primary reconnaissance, supply and defense spacecraft. <laughs> Mark 9 Hawk The Mark 9 Hawk is a warship featured in the first series episode, War Games. Highly maneuverable and well armed, it was designed specifically to counter extraterrestrial threats against Earth and its colonies. In the episode, a Hawk fleet launched from an alien planet attacks Moonbase Alpha, obliterating the Eagle Squadron and inflicting serious damage on the base. Commissioned in 1997 by the Global Defense Command, the original Hawk fleet is based at Space Dock until the Moon's catastrophic departure from Earth orbit on 13 September 1999. Since the most recent UFO incursions had occurred nearly 20 years previously, plans to build a Hawk base on the Moon were abandoned earlier that year. Like the Eagle Transporter, the Mark 9 Hawk is modular, comprising a command module, service module, and engines. It incorporates a two person cockpit pilot and, gunner and a life support system mounted on a single fusion engine. Its booster rockets produce a maximum acceleration of 20 grams and its forward wings can be fitted with additional weapons as required. In an emergency, the weapons pods and engines can be jettisoned and the command module used as a lifeboat. According to the Moonbase Alpha Technical Notebook, the World Space Commission organized a test lunar battle between Eagle Transporters and Mark 9 Hawks on 8 September 1996. In the 2012 second issue of Space, 1999, Aftershock, set in the Mojave Desert Military Recycling Annex California, USA, when specifications about the spacecraft are asked, a Global Defense Command soldier answers, "...Mark 9 Hawk Space Fighter. Crew of three, pilot, weapons officer, and tactical commander though remote piloting capable as well. Speed 14.2 of light." Armaments, two belt-fed automatic rail cannons, 500,000 rounds each. One chin-mooted recessed Gatling gun, 200,000 rounds ammunition. Two micro-missile launchers, full complement of 32 projectiles each, two retractable pounds laser cannons. Defenses, electrostatic ray defective hull plating, meteor screens. And Total battalion strength, eight flights plus the three scrapped flights already hidden on the Moon makes eleven, for a total of thirty-three armed, loaded, and fueled fighter craft. Dialogue implies that the Defense Command, shortly before the breakaway with the Moon, was planning to use the Hawks to organize a coup d'état against the world government. The fan film Malice 1999, presented at the Alpha 2012 convention, features three Hawks shooting at drone targets clearly based on the alien craft from UFO and a Hawk docking with the Metaprobe.
Topic: <laughs> Metaprobe. The Metaprobe is an investigative space probe featured in the pilot episode of the series Breakaway, designed to transport a two-person crew to an uncharted planet, Meta which is passing through the outskirts of the solar system and is thought to harbor intelligent extraterrestrial life it is due to be launched from space dock in september 1999 the mission to meta is postponed when the crew seemingly contract a virus later dying on moonbase alpha although the cause of death is subsequently revealed to be magnetic radiation emanating from nuclear waste disposal areas on the moon's far side with the arrival of a backup crew, preparations for launch resume, but both Metaprobe and Space Dock are lost when the disposal sites detonate and the resulting chain reaction forces the Moon from its orbit. Metaprobe is hurled into interplanetary space. The center section comprises four cylindrical propellant tanks in addition to two solar panel like structures. The forward section consists of a standard two-person Eagle Transporter command module attached to a cylindrical module measuring 4.5 meters (15 feet). In the Italian dubbing, all the probes to Meta are called Sonde B9, B9 probes. Topic: <laughs> Moon buggy. The moon buggy is used for both short and long range travel on the lunar surface. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Space Dock. Space Dock is a space station in orbit of the moon. It is introduced in Breakaway, in which it is also called Meta Probe Launch Platform. In Dragon's Domain, it is referred to as Interplanetary Space Station, while the Moonbase Alpha Technical Manual 1977 uses the name Centauri Space Station. Space Dock is used for launching interplanetary missions, including Ultra Probe in 1996 and Meta Probe in 1999, as well as providing a stopover point for travelers to and from the Moon. Modular in construction, it comprises a cylindrical core, with two sets of arms projecting outwards from both ends. Refueling and maintenance facilities are available, as are accommodation and dining. In Dragon's Domain, an Eagle Transporter landing platform is also seen. Although not explicitly stated in the series itself, a fleet of Mark IX Hawk, as seen in War Games, is probably stationed at Space Dock. Under the supervision of the International Lunar Finance Commission, the building of Space Dock commenced on 2 July 1981 and was completed by 19 June 1982, enabling the space station to preside over the construction of Moonbase Alpha, which commenced on 3 February 1983. When the Moon leaves Earth orbit on 13 September 1999, Space Dock is destroyed by gravitational stress, however, a news report states that, like the Moon, the space station was simply thrown out of orbit. According to Space, 1999 Catacombs, the Space Dock was designed to look like a wet workshop. <laughs> Starcruiser This Swift-like spacecraft is seen as a desk model in the 1979 Alien Attack compilation movie on the desk in the International Lunar Commission facility, with a Saturn V scale model. Alien Attack is a sort of non-canonical movie, in fact, is set in 2100, not 1999. Simmons is dead during the breakaway and not on the Kaldorian spacecraft from Earthbound. The Starcruiser is probably based on the SHADO interceptor from Anderson's UFO, but it is made using various swift parts. Topic: <laughs> Swift. This ship in Brian the Brain is a probe and along with Mothership and other Swifts is launched for the 1996 Star Mission, but is found by the Alphans with only the evil robot Brian as part of the crew. <laughs> Super Swift The Super Swift is featured in the second series episode, The Bringers of Wonder, Parts 1 and 2. 
Modeled by special effects technician Brian Johnson, its design was influenced by the Stanley Kubrick film 2001, A Space Odyssey and was a reworking of that of the Swift spacecraft that appears in the earlier second series episode, Brian the Brain. In The Bringers of Wonder, the Super Swift is stated to have been in the initial stages of development when the Moon was blasted out of Earth orbit. Designed to incorporate a UN invented faster than light drive, work on the Super Swift stalled when the propulsion system could not be realized. The eponymous, Bringers of Wonder, later exploit the Moonbase Alpha crew's memories of the design to create an illusion of the Super Swift while approaching the Moon in their own spacecraft. The Super Swift includes a three person pilot ship, a small scout craft also capable of faster than light speeds. Topic. Ultra Probe Ultra Probe is a long-range exploratory spacecraft, launched in 1996, which is featured in the first series episode, Dragon's Domain. Commanded by Captain Tony Cellini, it carries three science officers, Dr. Darwin King astrophysicist, Professor Juliette Mackey radiation expert, and Dr. Monique Fouchier medical officer. That Cellini is able to dock an Eagle transporter nose cone where the command module is originally positioned indicates that the technologies of the Eagle and Ultra Probe are broadly compatible. Ultra Probe is designed to travel to, and land on, the planet Ultra, discovered by Professor Victor Bergman in 1994. Launched from space dock, the probe arrives at Ultra in February 1997. On arrival, the crew discover a group of derelict alien spacecraft orbiting the planet. During an attempted boarding, a tentacled alien lifeform enters Ultra Probe through the airlock. Capable of mind control and hypnosis, the creature seizes three of the crew and devours them, regurgitating their carcasses. Cellini escapes by detaching the command module lifeboat from the rest of the probe and is rescued six months later. Since neither the creature nor the abandoned spacecraft appear in the Ultra Probe space flight records, the Earth authorities reject Cellini's account of the disaster, ruling that his colleagues died when he opened the airlock prematurely. Commander John Koenig believes Cellini and publicly defends him, securing a position for him on Moonbase Alpha. Following the Moon's departure from Earth orbit, the Alphans encounter the now drifting Ultra Probe. Cellini steals an Eagle transporter and returns to the vessel by detaching the command module with himself in and docking it in the place of the probe ship's command module, which was different from the Eagle's one. After a struggle with the alien, he suffers the same fate as his shipmates. Koenig docks in a second Eagle and manages to kill the creature. Topic. Voyager 1, Voyager 2 The Voyager space probes were two unmanned craft launched in 1985. Intended for remote exploration, they were fitted with two forms of propulsion, the powerful but poisonous Queller drive intended to fire only in deep space, and traditional rocket engines for safe use when near inhabited worlds or vehicles. Voyager 1 launched successfully on traditional rockets, activating its Queller drive only when it reached a safe distance from Earth. Tragically, Voyager 2 activated its Queller drive almost immediately after launch, killing everyone and everything within several hundred miles of the launch pad. Any plans for further Queller ships were scrapped. Fourteen years later, in the episode, Voyager's Return. Earth's moon finds itself in the path of Voyager 1, which is now being followed by several warships from worlds devastated by its faulty Queller drive. The Voyager 1's landing legs are the same as the Airfix lunar module. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Solar System Vehicles. Topic: <laughs> Astro-class spaceship In Matter of Life and Death, Lee Russell is mentioned as an astronaut deceased in the Astro 7 mission to Jupiter, in 1994 the 10th of July 1995, according with the Moonbase Alpha technical notebook, using an Astro-class ship. 
Later is known that the Astro class craft's route was influenced by a gravity like force and Russell was shipwrecked on Terra Nova, evolving into a sort of antimatter life form. Topic: <laughs> Phoenix, formerly known as Uranus probe. In Death's Other Dominion, the probe sent to Uranus in 1986, after a partial rebuilding, is conserved by the Thulians on a rail, under Ultima Thule's surface. The Phoenix craft is a clear reference to the spacecraft featured in When Worlds Collide. <laughs> Venus Space Station In The Exiles and The Lambda Factor that's a manned space station sent in the 1990s to Venus. <laughs> 